Hey, Maxie, with the, with the season officially wrapped and, and over, um, how difficult was it for you uh, physically? Um, I, I know Rick talked a lot about you know, it was it was multiple injuries that, that you would suffer you know, you suffered throughout the year that you were dealing with. Um, you know, there was there was the the, the COVID outbreak and, and you had that and then, you know, just generally, you know, the the season was so busy and there's so many games so fast. How difficult was it to, you know, maintain a physical best? Um, and how much are you looking forward forward to an off season to, to recover? Um I guess, you know, it, that's not just for me, I guess it was for everybody, um, you know, it's been a, like a very compact season with a lot of games, so whenever something happened, you didn't really have much time for practice or get back in shape, you know, whenever like the COVID part hit, um, you didn't have many days to really practice with the team because there were just so many games, right? Um, so coming back in shape after injuries and stuff like that was definitely not as easy this year, but um, you know, it's it's part of the game and, and I think rarely you, you make a season we don't have anything, but um, obviously this year was not as much fun um, just because, you know, it added up and, and it got really annoying, especially like the last weeks with my Achilles and all the stuff. So um, for the next days, I would just try to like recover, um, let it heal and then see where I'm at. Um, Callie? <clears throat> Hey, Maxie, thanks for your time. Um, on that note, I know obviously the Achilles and things have been bothering you, but do you plan to play for Germany in the Olympic qualifying coming up? And, and what is that? What is the summer going to look like for you that wise? Yeah, so that's a good question. Um, I've been talking to the guys from Germany, obviously, and uh, I didn't have my exit meeting yet, um, but we have to see. So um, I basically played with like injections, all that stuff. So. Um, my body, I want to take care of it first. So if it's not healthy and I, I don't, I don't feel well. I can't, or still can't run. I don't see a point in playing um, because I think I have to recover first. But that's something I will um, figure out in the next couple of days. Dorothy. <clears throat> Hi, Maxie. What What would you change if you could replay the season? The whole season. If you could replay the season, what would you change? Oh, uh, the whole season, that's your answer, okay. No, 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 I, I was asking if you asked about the whole season or, or the yeah. playoffs. Um, first of all, I think uh, it would be a lot better if, if nobody had COVID here, but that's something we can can do, you know, and, and just give us a little bit more time to practice together because we really had stretches where we figured out how to play um, together as a team, and then there were stretches where we just got out of the rotations because somebody was injured or something happened and <clears throat> you could definitely tell that we weren't as good in those situations but um, overall I think we still had a good season and we learned a lot and you know like we, we did a lot of the right things you know it's, it's still a game where only um, one team can win so at the end of the day um, I think we still can be proud of the season but uh, I, I wouldn't replay it. you know it's, it's memories and, and we learned we have a lot of experience, experiences made um, so I wouldn't change a thing I think. Okay, two more. Eddie? Actually, how, how far or how close do you think this team is to uh, not just winning a playoff series, but winning many playoff series? And, and what would you think needs to happen for that to happen? Um, I don't think we're that far off, um, you know, just by the fact that you have a guy like Luca who can basically um, dictate the whole game and, and win it. And I think there's like a couple of small adjustments. Um, you know, this is like, for example, for me, what I take away from this, I want to work on this summer on different stuff because as soon as you make your shots, you know, teams switch and, and uh, if you don't have a second answer, then basically you're irrelevant on offense, so that has to change. And I think it's like small pieces that we need. We're, we're right there. Um, you know, guys like Dodo are very special. Um, Tim had a tremendous year and all those guys. Um, you know, I think it's not much that is missing, but obviously, um, just names or whatever um, don't make it work like it has to work as a team and that's like the biggest thing but I think our team chemistry was really good which which helped us um, during this throughout the season last one Jessica hey Maxie uh, KP said patience was one thing he learned Tim said his ability to adapt what's something you learned that you reflect um, on this whole season uh, with high, all the highs and lows what's many take away from this year um, well I think one thing, um, if, it, if it comes to like, there's like different aspects of what I look at, like one thing, for example, like 
the highs and lows that you have, I think they were even crazier this year just because of the whole COVID situation and how things were done. So um, you tended to more fall in like to a deeper hole once like things don't go well. Um, you, you can't see family, friends, you had so many rules and all that, but just like maintain on a, on a good level and basketball wise, as I said, um, you know, um, just making the next step because uh, I shot the ball better this year. So teams start switching, um, as I mentioned, and they, they can't really guard with, uh, with like five guys or whatever. So you have to have like the next answer to that, like maybe like um, create a mismatch in the post and stuff like it. Just like there's a lot of things that I that have um, take or taken away from this season and learned. And, uh, you know, I want to take this into the summer and, and just keep working on that. Okay, thanks, Maxi. We've got Boban standing by. Bobanito. All right.